Welcome to a video. This is my review of the Legion item as it switch game. It switch three Legion item four. Can you guys wait? Believe it, because the Legion item have won their first game of football this season. Yes. Oh, I got nerve wracking near the end. Anyway, let's go through the game performances and what happened. So we start off the game. I thought we started all right, and then all of a sudden, um, Luke Ayling gets beat down the left. Um, which he did a couple of times this game. He got beat down the left. The ball gets whipped in and Rodon, there was no Ipswich player in the box. It hits Rodon's leg and we're 1-0 down. I'm thinking, oh, no, no, no. And then late, not that long after that, Jorginho Ruta with a bit of skill, skilling past defenders and bang, hits it in the back of the net. Jorginho Ruta scores his first goal for Leeds United. I was so happy for him. I'm really critical of him. I've been criticism of, criticizing him a lot, but that's just because I know he's better than what he's been showing. And he's finally shown it, you know, and I'm happy for him and I want him to continue what he's doing because he looked really good this game and that goal was beautiful. Then you're thinking 1-1, one, one, okay, yes, we're back into it. Let's go get another and then Wilfred Nonto scores with an assist. So the first goal was assisted by Luke Ayling playing the board of Ruta. And then we score. And then Sam Byram with a beautiful ball across the ball box. No one's watching it. I'm pretty sure it bounces. And then Nonto at the back stick. No one's watching him. Bang, hits it in the back of the net. And all of a sudden, Leeds United are 2-1 up. And you're thinking, yes, we are 2-1 up now. And then not long after, in the 19th minute, Joe, Joel Pirro scores on his debut. And we're in dreamland. This is our best performance. We've got a bunch of play. You know, we've got Pirro in and we're like, oh. And then you look at the when the lineup came out. Oh, my God, that lineup looks like it's going to cook. 3-1. I'm like, yes, let's get another and another. Because I thought at that time we were just going to absolutely smash him out the park, beating a team that have not lost a game in about 22 in a row. They haven't lost in 22 matches, I'm pretty sure, in a row. Something like that. And we haven't won a game for ages either. I think it was August the last time we won. Jeez, I think it was August the last... Oh, wait, no, we are in August. I think it was... I can't remember when the last time we won was. Sorry, no, it is August. That's our first win in legit, like, three, four, three months since Forest. Isn't that... I think that's our last win since the Forest game. Oh, my God. Finally, our first win since the Forest game, but you're going 3-1 up, and I'm like, yes. Um, then Sam Byram does get injured, and then Cody Drama comes on and um, looks terrible, gets beaten three or four times, and then passes the ball straight into Jackson, who goes around, plays the ball across goal, and Bro Broadhead scores and makes it 3 2 and I'm thinking, oh, no, going into halftime, just conceding like that right on the halftime. The second half starts and Clark makes an impact. Clark says, drama, you're coming off. Jamie Shackleton, you're coming on. The next up, you're thinking, okay, the game's gone back and forth at that point. It was mainly um, Ipswich. They looked the better team at the start of the second half, putting pressure on us and pressure on us. And you're thinking, oh, no, they're going to score and make and you know level the score. And then took to the 75th minute when Jack's... Jamie Shackleton won the ball in the midfield, bolted through, played a perfect inch ball to Louis Sinistera, and Sinny scores and makes it 4-2. And you're like, yes, now we've won, surely. And you're thinking, yes, finally, we're actually going to, you know, we're going to seal it and we've, we've won. And then, you know, we played well. We held them out. They didn't really, they caused us a lot of trouble throughout the game. And then in the night, I think it was like the 93rd, 94th minute, they end up scoring and you're like, oh, no, oh, no. And then... They played it around the back in the 95th minute, and you're thinking, it's a, it's got to the 96th minute, I'm pretty sure. They're not blowing the whistle. I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to score. But luckily, we held on and got our first win of the season. Now let's go through my player performances of what I'll give each player a rating. Um, Elan Melia started in goal, and I will give him a... I'm going to give him a 7, because he didn't do really much wrong, wrong, but he did concede three goals. Three goals did go in the back of his net, but, net, but I don't think he did much wrong. I'll give him a 6. I'll give, yeah, I'll give him a six. I, think it, I don't think he did much wrong, but he did concede three goals, you know. Not that I think he could have done better from any of them, like he shouldn't have saved either of any of them, sorry. But still, you know, Luke Allen got beat a lot in this game. I'm going to have to give him a four. I think Luke Allen, again, he just comes out too rational. He got an assist. Yeah, I'll give him a five because he got that assist and he looked, Good. It, it, again, he looks great in attack, but terrible in defence. 
Uh, Rodon, I didn't really see him do much. I think I'll give him a seven because I think he played well. He did get that own goal, but am I really going to blame him? Not really. He could have just left the ball because there was only Leeds players behind him, but he probably didn't know that. But the rest of the game, I think he was sound. He was good. I'm going to give, yeah, I'll give him a seven. Like seven out of ten because um, I think he played well. Pascal Strauch. Now, I think he was our best player on the pitch. I'm going to say Strauch is my man of the match, and I'm going to give him an eight. Um, Sam Byram did good, got an assist. I think he did very well until he got injured. I'm going to give him a seven. I um, think he did well. Willie Nonto got a goal. I think he played well today. And, you know, apologize to the fans. He shushed when he scored. And I'm like, what are you doing? And then he apparently clapped the Leeds fans. Like, that was to the Ipswich fans. Um, so, yeah, I'll give him a seven. He scored a goal. Well done, Willie Nonto. Um, yeah. Uh, Ampadu and Gray. I think I'll give Gray and Ampadu both a six each because... Both of them do the exact same thing for me every single game. They're both quality every single game at the moment. None of them have made really any mistakes. I'll, both, I'll give them both a six. I think they both performed really well together, and I think they were both really good. Nothing to complain about. Sinistera got a goal, looked good. I'll give him a seven as well. He looked really good, got the goal, and yeah, seven. Uh, Joe Pirro got a goal on his debut. A pretty decent debut, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he had a great debut. People may say he had a great debut because it's his first game and people are going to overrate it because it's his first game. But I think he played well. I don't think he played bad at all. I think he played well. I think he had a good performance. I'll give him a six. Um, and Jorginho Ruta also scored a goal and I'll give him a six as well because I think he played well and he did, you know, he did a lot of good stuff. He did a lot of good things in that match. Not going on the ratings who I thought when they played did come on. Cody Drama is like a two. He was so poor. Terrible. Jamie Shackleton, I'll give a six. I thought he played well when he came on. He got an assist and he did well. Um, Joe Gelhart and the rest of them, I can't really rate because I came in so late. And yeah, I think we overall performed really well. I'm happy with that performance. And let's just take it into the next match and hoping we can win. We got a cup match midweek, I'm pretty sure, this week. Um, so, yeah, I probably won't be doing a preview for that because I don't think I can watch the game. But maybe yeah, I'll do a preview, but the review I might not be able to do. But if you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace.